Hey, this is Kev from Blender Bits. In this video, we're going to go over adding more edges, more points, and more faces to your object. So if you haven't watched the last few videos, I highly recommend you do. Or, if you know a little bit about Blender and the interface and can move around, you might pick up something from this video. Okay? Let's go. So the first thing I want to do is I want to move the mouse over here to create and let's create a cube. So you just left click on cube, boom. Okay, now if you use a middle mouse, if you're using a three button mouse, uh, you can scroll in using the mouse and it'll zoom in and out. I just want to zoom up a little bit so I can see more of what I'm doing. Okay, now if you hit tab, you'll remember from the last video that it goes onto this orange kind of makes this orange uh, editable look to your object. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start adding more to work with. So if we go over here to tools, okay, now with the salon, you see there's a few cool tools in here under add. We have extrude region, extrude individual, inset faces. I'm not going to name all these. You can read these. But what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go to loop, cut, and slide. And you'll notice that the shortcut for that, as you, as you hover the mouse over it, the shortcut comes up, says control R. So if I left click on this, and I go in here, you see that I get this pink line. Cool thing about this pink line is it shows you where the cut is going to go before you make it. Another cool thing is once you have the cut where you want it, like say like right here, okay, we're going to left click once, and now if we don't click again, we just clicked once, we can slide it. We really position it where we want it, and when we're ready to drop it, we just click another time, boom, done. Okay, so again, loop, cut, and slide. Back in, click once, drag, click again, let go. Okay, we'll use the keyboard shortcut this time, control R. Okay, click, drag, click, control R. Click, drag, click, control R. Click, drag, click, control R. Left click, drag, left click. Okay, so we've, we've divided our, our object up pretty well here. What this allows us to do is if we say we grab points now, you'll see that I can kind of just move this point around here. Okay, grab this point over here. Boom. And don't worry about this little thing. This, this is very important in Blender, but I'm not really going to get into it yet um, because we haven't really had a need for it. It, it is very important, but just know it exists right now and know that if you if you left click around it just puts it wherever your mouse is okay we don't really need to know exactly what that is right now so we're just gonna right click and pull okay right click and pull and you can see that you can start kind of playing around with your object like taffy now remember if you middle click and drag around you can orbit your object okay so we can always go back in here and we can add more loop cuts if we want. So we can always, we always have this tool available where we can always go control R, click, drag. Okay, so this is one really good way of adding more, adding more points and more edges to your object. If we hit control and tab, okay, you see that this calls up this menu. It's the same as going down here. Okay, and you can select faces, edges, or, or vertices, points. So control tab is a shortcut. I'm going to go to face and we're going to select a face. So we're going to right click on the face and now we can use a cool tool called extrude. Okay, we have extrude region and extrude individual. If you're just working on one polygon, either one of these will work. So I'm just going to go to extrude, I mean just hit extrude region, fine. It just works on that one polygon. All right, or extrude individual, click and drag, okay? Extrude individual drag, and then when you want to place it where you want it, hit, just click again, left click. You can do that again, right click to select, extrude individual, pull it out, click, extrude individual, and you can see that it's pulling this and giving you more to work with. Now, let's just say you wanted to work on, on uh, three of these, and you wanted to, or you wanted to select this whole row here, so we'll hold down shift, right click, Okay, and you can select anywhere on the face. Eh, I won't get that one. I'll get these 
there are these six, okay? And if I go extrude individual, okay, that'll pull them up individually. What that means is I can go back and select one of these, okay, by right clicking on it and pull it and it's apart. Right click, select, left click, drag, right click, select, left click, drag. Now, if I wanted to move these as one piece and keep them together, I can select, say I select three of these, okay, hold down shift, right click, shift, right click, and select three of these. I go to extrude region, and I pull that out. Now you can see that if I select one, it pulls the whole thing, okay? These points here are connected, and you can see that by their, they're completely connected to each other, okay? So they don't separate like that. So that's the difference between extrude region and extrude individual. Region works on more than one as one unit, Okay, so it pulls it all together as one. Extrude individual pulls them all together separately. Okay, now one last thing that I want to show you in this is the subdivide tool. So if I have this selected, okay, or I select anything, well, I'll select this so it's easier to see, and I go to subdivide, you can see, once I click subdivide, that it starts what's called subdividing which is basically just taking this and making more more faces out of this one face okay this is pretty useful in doing cool things like say I want to uh, extrude individual here okay and I'll pull these out and now I can kinda just take this and move this around move this around move this around Now, when you're really modeling for real you probably won't be using it this way there, there's a lot that goes into it especially as far as what's called tessellation and you want to have a clean clean object with clean subdivisions when you model but for right now this is pretty cool to just see what this does okay and that's why I just wanted to show you because it allows you to kind of just go in and start playing and doing really cool things you can see that right okay so what I recommend after every video is that you stop the video Look at your notes, hopefully you took some notes, and just go in and do this and practice, okay? The way you get good at 3D, the way you get good at anything is by practicing. So just taking what you learned, taking this little bit of information I gave you, or, or a lot depending on what you feel, and just going in and playing, okay? Watch the video again if certain things just kind of flew over your head. And uh, if once you play with this, you'll start understanding what it does. You'll, you'll get it. So hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.